Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the world of WAMP servers and Moodle installations. I'll walk you through downloading the WAMP server and getting it set up on your Windows PC. Then I'll guide you through downloading Moodle from the Moodle website, as well as installing Moodle on your WAMP server. And then of course we will tackle some installation errors that might pop up along the way. So let's get your Moodle site up and running on your Windows PC. So let's head on over to the WAMP server. So type in your web browser WAMP, press enter on your keyboard. It will provide you with the search results. Then click on WAMP server. You will end up on your WAMP server homepage. Scroll down to where you see WAMP server 64 bit or WAMP server 32 bits. Depending on your operating system and your machine, you need to download and install one of these versions. Since I'm running a 64 bit operating system and my machine is compatible with 64 bit, I'll download this one. So I'll click on it once and then you can download it directly from this link. So I'll click on that and it will start downloading. You'll see the download process is done. I'll just click on it once and immediately it will start the installation process. And then you'll select your language. Mine is English, so I'll click on OK. Let's just minimize this. So now I will accept the license agreement. So I'll go through the license agreement and then I'll accept it. I'll click on Next. I will read through the prerequisites. And here you'll see in red that make sure that you're up to date with uh, redistributable files or packages. Also, do not install WAMP server over an existing version. And then install WAMP server in a folder at the root of the disk. What does this mean? You should install it uh, within C WAMP or D WAMP and not in uh, your program files. Okay. Then you need also need to disable ISS. Uh, so make sure that you adhere to all the prerequisites and once you're happy, you click on next. You'll see immediately it will choose the C directory and then WAMP64. Click on next and it will start the installation process. Once it's done, it will ask you for your um, browser to select a default browser. I'll leave it on Edge. So I'll click on No. If you want to select a different browser, you click on Yes, and you need to go and select your browser, but I'll leave it on Edge. So I'll click on No. And then it asks me for my Notepad um, application, so I'll use that. I'll click on No, and it will finish the installation process. Okay, so here it gives you a breakdown of where you can access the WAMP server. And then you'll click on Next. So there's everything set up. I'll click on Finish. And you'll see immediately there's a WAMP server icon on your desktop. And that's how easy it is to install your WAMP server on your Windows PC. So now that we've installed WAMP server, let's double click on it. You'll see in my taskbar, there's nothing here. Okay, so let's double click on it to run the WAMP server. I'll click on yes here and it will start running the server. Okay, so it says here, services started, ready, all services are running. If you look now in your taskbar, you'll see there's WAMP server and it's green. If it's orange or red, there's a problem, but if it's green, we're good to go. Now, let's go to our Windows directory. So I'll go to my file explorer. And then I'll go to my C drive and then under WAMP64, I'll go into my root directory, my www. I'll double click on that and I'll create a new folder here called Moodle. 
So I'll create a new folder and I'll call it Moodle. I'll press enter on my keyboard and there's Moodle, the Moodle uh, folder created. Now I will go to my Moodle website. So I'll go to Moodle.org. I'll press enter on my keyboard. Then I'll go to downloads. Once here, I'll click, I'll scroll down and see where's the Moodle installation. So there you'll see standard Moodle, extended Moodle, Moodle mobile. You can click on latest release under standard Moodle, or you can click on development releases. So let's click on development releases. And it will take you to Moodle 4.4. You can even click on development releases here it will show you the same options. If you want the latest release of Moodle, you can click on latest releases and you'll see there's 4.3.3 plus, which is a stable version and 4.3.3. So we'll download this. So I'll download the zip file. So I'll click on that and it will download to my downloads folder on my computer. Once it's done downloading, I will open that folder. So there's my folder. I will then unzip it. So there's Moodle. I'll close this. I'll then extract it to my directory that I've just installed my web server. So it's under C. And you'll see there's my web server. And then under www, there's my Moodle installation, my Moodle folder that I've created. So I'll just click on open and it will extract my Moodle contents into that uh, particular folder. We can now go and look in our folder. So let's go to our WAMP, um, WAMP64 and then double click on Moodle and you'll see there's a Moodle folder. You'll see we have two Moodle folders here, which is unnecessary. So I'll just cut this from this folder here. I'll cut it here and I'll go one step back and I'll just paste it here. Okay. So I'll paste it there and then I'll remove that empty folder. So that folder is now empty. You'll see. I'll go back and just remove that empty folder. Okay. So we're good to go. So now our Moodle installation files are in the correct folder. So let's start by installing Moodle. Once Moodle is extracted in your Moodle folder, you can open a new tab and then type in localhost forward slash Moodle, depending on the name you've given to that folder you've created. Press enter on your keyboard and it should take you directly to the installation of Moodle. On the screen, you can select your language. If you're happy with your language, click on next. Here it gives you a breakdown of the web address, Moodle directory and data directory. It says here my web address is uh, HTTP, localhost Moodle, and then all of that. So I'll leave that on its default. I'll click on next. It will now ask me for my database. Remember we've installed Maria database, so I'll select the Maria DB and then click on next. And now it asks me for my data user, data password, uh, my table prefix, as well as my database port. Now remember, we haven't created a database yet and a database user, so we still have to create that. So open a new tab, type in localhost, and then forward slash PHP, my admin. Press enter on your keyboard. And this will take you to the PHP My Admin window. The username will be root. You can leave the password blank and make sure that you select Maria DB. Click on login. It will open this window here. You can click on new since we are creating a new database. So click on new. And now we need to provide a name for our database. So we'll call this Moodle. I'll call it Moodle. You can call it anything you want to call it. Okay. Now in the drop down list, we need to choose. So UTF-8 MB4 underscore Unicode CI. We'll choose that. And then we'll click on create. 
It will then create our database. Now here you need to take note of certain things. Your, our database name and our username will be Moodle. Then our port will be 3307. So take note of that. Go back to your installation. Our database name is Moodle. Our database user is root. And then our database password. We don't have a password. And then our port is 3307. So let's just 3307. I'll then click on Next. And now you need to confirm that you've read the conditions and understood them and then click on Continue. So here it says that I need to check my PHP extension sodium. So we need to give this attention and then there's a max input vars. It should be 5000 and then site no HTTPS. Okay, so we need to fix this error first. So how do we fix this? In your taskbar, click on your WEMP server and then go to PHP and then under PHP extensions make sure that your sodium is selected so it's under SOP sodium so there's sodium it's unchecked you need to be checked so let's check that and then once it's done you'll see a few black screens flickering and once it's done, you'll scroll down and you click on Reload. After you've reloaded, you'll see that our sodium is now sorted. So now we can scroll down and you'll see that max vars. Uh, this is problematic and we can't install Moodle if this is still problematic. So let me show you how to fix this. Open your WEMP server by clicking on it. And then go to PHP, move over to the left and click on php.ini. It will open your php.ini file, which looks something like this. We'll just copy this max vars, max input, max underscore input vars. Let's copy that. We'll open our notepad and then we'll just control F and search for that file. Okay. I press enter and there you'll see that it's currently 2500 and Moodle is complaining it should be at least 5000. So let's increase that to 5000 or let's make it 10,000 and then click on file and save. Okay, so now it's 10,000. I'll click on close here and then reload. Maybe we should restart the server again. So let's restart. Uh, I'll just click on it once, restart all services and wait till it's all up and running again. So wait till it's green. Okay, so there it's green. Let's reload. And there we go. So this isn't very important since we are on localhost. So this won't uh, affect our installation. You'll see the server environment meets all minimum requirements. I'll click on continue. It will now start the installation process and let's wait till it finishes. When you scroll down and see continue at the bottom, you'll know that the installation is complete. So I'll click on continue. I'll then provide a username as well as a password for my model to access my Moodle site. So I've just added a password. So, and you need to provide an email address. So I'll add my email address. And then I'll scroll down, leave everything on its default. So my username, my password, and then my email address. I'll update my profile. It will ask me if I want to save my password. Let's save this. I need to provide the site full name, my site's full name. So I'll call it eLearning Portal. And then my short name will be the same. So I'll just call it 
you need to call it your site's name. You can select the time zone. So I'll choose a time zone. So this is really important, especially if you have assignments that are due dates are set. So this becomes important. So I'll choose Africa self registrations. If you want to allow users to self register, we'll touch on that in a later module and then support email. This is very important. So I'll call, I'll provide my own email address. And then I'll leave everything on its default. I'll click on save changes. And there my installation is complete. So there's my new Moodle site installed on my Windows PC. And whenever I want to access it, I'll just type in my browser localhost forward slash Moodle and it will take me to my Moodle site. I can log out. I can close this browser window. I can open a new tab and type in localhost forward slash Moodle and it will take me to my Moodle site. I can log in with my username and my password and it will take me straight to my Moodle installation.